Well, psoriatic arthritis is an inflammatory type of arthritis that's associated with a skin condition called psoriasis. In other words, simple words, pain swelling in the joints with uh, a skin condition that is usually red, scaly, and itchy. Um, this can occur anywhere in the body. Uh, the skin patches are uh, usually affecting the elbows, the scalp, the knees, uh, although it can also affect any part of the body like the palms and the soles, sometimes the uh, umbilical area, sometimes the uh, area between the butt cheeks. One thing that uh, people also don't realize is that the nails can be involved. So uh, uh, one way of looking uh, at uh, psoriasis affecting the nails is pits in the nails or small dots in the nails. Uh, psoriasis usually affects about 2 to 3 percent of the world population, but here in the United States is about 5.8 to 7.5 million Americans. One out of ten to about three out of ten individuals will develop psoriatic arthritis. Up to now, we're not sure what causes it. But we know that it's the immune system that does not work properly. So we classify it as an autoimmune pro process. Uh, the immune system does not work well, so it starts to develop this inflammatory process in the skin and in the joints. And that's uh, what happens. Now with the joints, it can usually affect five or less joints. Uh, that's the typical picture for psoriatic arthritis, but it can also affect more than five joints. Now, what joints are typically affected? The knees, the ankles, the wrists. Uh, there are uh, some people who have the nail involvement that it would also affect the joints that are closest to the fingernails and the toenails, so they will have swelling uh, in those joints. Uh, it must, it's important to know that this can also be um, uh, misdiagnosed as osteoarthritis because osteoarthritis likes to affect those joints. So history and physical examination are uh, the most important aspects of making a diagnosis. There are new medications nowadays uh, that seem to be very promising uh, in helping the skin and the joints. Uh, they are uh, in a class called biologic agents. Uh, when I say biologic agents, uh, they're not drugs, but they are uh, biochemically engineered uh, products. Examples of this would be Embrel, Remicade, and Humira. Uh, they tend to help the joints and the skin. So again, uh, you're able to help uh, both aspects of the disease process.